February is Black History Month, and each week we share stories of people and places that are part of the fabric and history of Texas. This week we feature three black high school coaches making history, each of their teams winning the state championship last year. Fox 4 Stephen Dial shows us the brotherhood these three coaches now have as part of the history books. The wait is over. That man can celebrate it. We as black men can get some things done, and we just need uh, to be given our due for our hard work. Juan Mathis and his team fulfilling the destiny, winning the UIL 6A Division II State Championship of Texas. Just getting the opportunity. I mean, it, it's, that's, a lot of it comes down to that. Sometimes we don't have the opportunity to go out there and coach. You can call it a championship coach's fraternity, but for these three men, their brotherhood was only made stronger by this historic moment. I think it's real monumental uh, because, uh, you know, we've all had to overcome a lot of obstacles to get to that point. South Oak Cliff, Reginald Samples, Duncanville. <laughs> and DeSoto High Schools, all 2022 state champions in the same county, led by three black men. A lot of times they look at it as if uh, we're not doing very much coaching. Uh, it's all talent. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, I think you have three real good coaches here. And uh, the fact that we've done uh, these accomplishments shows uh, that we are good coaches. That's what we stand for. Duncanville's Reginald Samples is the winningest black coach in Texas, but he still chased the ultimate goal. Coach, congratulations. Two months after winning his first state championship, he was named Coach of the Year by the Texas High School Coaches Association. Coach Todd, you got you got a little a little leverage among the the, the guys on your left and your right. You got back to back. I mean, <laughs> I, mean I know that's a little, a little bragging, but talk about the camaraderie. Yeah, it's a brotherhood where uh, actually uh, it, it's, it's centered around being very competitive. You know, we all want to be successful, and uh, you know, I may have won two championships, but I haven't beat these two guys yet. So you know that that's a big stepping stone for me to try to get over that hump one day. DeSoto's Claude Mathis returned to the district in 2019, leading his team to a state championship win three years later. You guys are molding predominantly black young lives whose lives could totally be in a different situation if they didn't have football or other activities as an outlet. Well, we're leaders of our community. That, that's number one. Like I told our kids, if they just learn football from me, I have failed them in life. And it's about life. And so we do different things, and we try to spend as much time as we can, according to the rules and regulations that we can, with those guys. If you looking around, seeing what you don't have, that means you're not focused on what you do have. And uh, a lot of times we have enough, we just got to make it work. And we have to exhibit a little extra. But, but that's all a part of the job. But the reward is, is, is worth it, you know, to see these kids happy and successful and going on to school and, you know, coming back in life and letting you know that uh, some of the things you taught them were key that got them through tough times. That was Stephen Dial reporting, and all three championship coaches will do the puck drop on Monday night at the Dallas Stars game.